close your eyes. Stay with the breath. Try to be with the sensation of breathing all the way in, all the way out. And keep watch over the mind to make sure it doesn't go slipping off. As the Buddha said, the self is its own mainstay. In order to be able to depend on yourself, to be your own mainstay, though, you have to learn to be more reliable. If the Buddha could have done the work for us to enlighten us, he, surely he would have done it. But he realized it's something we have to do ourselves. But in order to gain that happiness, we have to be very strict with ourselves, not to go other, after other kinds of pleasures or whatever random things come into the mind. Just because a thought comes into the mind doesn't mean that you have to deal with it. These thoughts are like things that just appear on the side of the road. You're walking along a path, and there are things along the path, and some things are poisonous, some things are neutral, and some things are useful. And it's the same with your thoughts. Some thoughts are useful, some thoughts are not, some th thoughts are actually bad for you. So you have to learn how to choose what's right for you. And in order to do that, you have to get, put the mind in a position where it's not hungry for everything it sees. Otherwise, it'll eat everything along the side of the path. You have to give the mind a sense of well-being right here with the breath. So notice what kind of breathing feels good. What does your body need right now? Does it need long breathing or short breathing? Fast, slow, or long in, short out, short in, long out? Try to notice what the body needs and how the body lets you know that it's the breath is too long or the breath is too short. What might be just right? What are the warning signals? You've got to be very sensitive. This is what our discernment is. It's just being very sensitive to things that are actually already there. The mind is creating suffering all the time. The mind has good qualities and bad qualities all mixed together in the mind. And you want to be sensitive to them to figure out which ones are the ones worth keeping, which ones are not. So the concentration here is to, one, be solid so you can see things clearly, and two, give yourself a sense of well-being so you're not hungry for everything that comes your way. And develop your sensitivity. Get more and more precise about what's actually going on in the mind and what you might be able to do to steer yourself away from the unskillful thoughts and toward the skillful ones. This is how you learn how to depend on yourself. Whenever the Buddha taught people, he taught them starting right where they are, and depending on whether they already had a lot of background or not, he was able to adjust his teachings so wherever you are and the quality of the mind, there's a path for you. But it requires that you make up your mind that true happiness is something you want, you're going to aim there and not let yourself get deflected by other things. And then just pick up the path where you are and keep on walking. As you get more sensitive to what you're doing, a greater sense of satisfaction when you can get the mind to settle down. You find that you can depend more and more on yourself. You really can become your own mainstay. <laughs>